Hi everyone. Today we will show because a lot of people, partners, customers wanted to know how to do that. We will add a, a tile to the landing page or we call it the, the dashboard. If you remember last time we built a data table for identities and we showed also how to implement a side sheet where you can select uh, from the list one identity and then you can uh, look at the details. Yeah. And this time we will add a tile to the dashboard and when you click on that tile uh, we will navigate to the to the identities data table. So we have the sample identity folder with our module and with the table and the side sheet detail view. And now we will add the tile for the dashboard. When you look at our dashboard here, you can see that we have different types of tiles. So these are, for example, a little bit smaller than these two guys here. Yeah. And then we have a button here on the left side. And you can see here, this is a little bit different. And the reason is that we, right now on the dashboard, we have three different sections. And depending which tile you, you, you want to add or which type of tile you want to add, you would push it to, to one of these three sections. Yeah. And I will show you that on the code level. So the dashboard is implemented in the QER uh, library. Yeah. And you can find it under W port and then you have the start folder. And there you have the HTML file and the TS file. Yeah. So when you look at the HTML file, you can see, oh, okay, we have here a tile component. Yeah. Now we are in the first section. The first section contains batch tiles and what a batch tile in comparison to other tile types are. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. So you can see we have a couple of, of batch tiles here. Yeah. And then when I scroll down, we have the second section, uh, which uh, contains a couple of icon tiles. What we will do, we will exactly here, we will add a new icon tile, which then will link to our identity data table. So most of the tiles of the specialized tiles, like an icon tile, like the batch tile, are implemented in QER. Yeah? The base, tile component is implemented in QBM. So let's go first to QBM and go to the base tile. Yeah. So this is the QBM library and then you can see again our foundation of the of the tile components. Yeah. We will not go into too much details here. So if you're curious, feel free to look into that, into the HTML file and into the TS file. Yeah. But looking at the TS file, one thing is perhaps interesting. So you have different inputs. Yeah. So you can, as you can see, the basic component uh, as an input for a caption, for a, for a subtitle, then the action text. Uh, looking here, this is the action text here. Basically, it's a button. Yeah. Uh, you can add that. It can has images or no images. And then the size. You can have different sizes, as you can see here. Yeah, we have a square, tile, dashboard, large overview. One thing to note is that we don't use tiles only at, uh, on the dashboard, but, but they are different places and you can use them like you want. But today we will add, uh, add a tile to the dashboard. Now, this is the uh, tile base component. And then when we go back to QER, let me go to the tiles folder. Yeah. In QER, now we have specialized uh, tiles. So again, looking here at these two guys here, these are batch tiles. Yeah. And then here is the specialized version of a batch tile. When you look at the HTML, yeah. Basically, it uses our base component and sets 
a couple of properties, for example, or inputs like size. Now it says, okay, I am a custom tile, yeah. And then we have a template uh, with a button and so on and so forth, yeah. Uh, one thing to note here, and not only, and this is true not only for this component, when you look at our code, you will see this input quite often. You don't have to use it. It's only for our internal QA automation. So basically these guys here are like identifiers and then our automation system in QA uh, reads the values and does something. So if you wonder what that is, this is for automation and QA. So you can simply ignore it. Yeah. Okay, so now this, for example, is a batch style component, yeah? meaning it's the base component with a couple of modifications. Then there is an icon tile component. It's this guy here. Yeah, Again, we are using the, the base component with a couple of, again, with modifications. For example, we have her in icon, yeah? which we can set. And looking at the TS file, there's not a lot of stuff because, again, most of the heavy lifting is done in the base component. So what we will do is we will create an, a new component which contains an icon tile component and then we will put it into the or push it into the dashboard. Okay, so the first thing we will do is first we will create a new component. Yeah. Let me just create a new terminal and then use the Angular CLI to do that. We will create the new, the new dashboard tile. So the first thing I will do, I will create via ng, uh, Angular ng a new component. We will call it identity tile. Yeah. And we will locate it in our module we have already created under QER. That's the sample identity module. Yeah. We don't want to have unit tests and we will use SCSS as our style sheet format. Now let me run this. As you can see now we have here uh, under sample identities we have now our new more or less empty uh, new tile component uh, and it should be also put into the export or declarations and export section in our module. Yeah. Uh, so the Angular CLI did that already for us, but we have also to put this guy, if you want to export it to the public API section. Okay, now we are good to go. Right now, the the template, so the HTML template of that component is, is more or less empty. Yeah? And as mentioned earlier, what we want to do is to create an icon tile component. Yeah? And that would look like this. So basically, we are using the icon, icon tile components. We have a caption. We have also want to have an icon, the user icon from from Elemental UI. Yeah. And then we have a description, so on and so forth. But you can see that the compiler is unhappy. Yeah, because it says, "Oh, I don't know what that thing is," which does mean that we have to add an import into our sample identity module, so somewhere here. Now we will import the tiles module into our sample identity module because our Now looking at the icon tile component, we have a caption, which is a normal text, but the subtitle is not a normal text. It, it's, uh, uh, it reference to a variable in the, 
in the identity tile component and we have to add it because right now it does not exist there. Yeah. Of course, we could also simply add a text here like a caption, but we want to show how to use variables yeah, in components. So therefore, let's go to the identity tile component to the TS file, which is more or less empty. Let's add the description property into the components. Yeah with a sample text. Yeah. Let me save it. And the component is happy now. Now, looking at the, at the dashboard, we have created the component, the tile component, but it's still not visible. And now we have to use our plugin mechanism for, for tiles on the dashboard to dynamically add that tile so we can see it. Okay, so to make our uh, new tile components available uh, to the dashboard, uh, we have to go first to a specific service. In this case, it's the QER service. Yeah. And then we will add in the init section, we will add or we will register the new tile component. So let me add that. So we are using the dashboard medium tile uh, component section. Yeah. Uh, we have to import this guy here. Now uh, the code has recompiled and as you can see that in the first section, now we have not only notifications and new requests, but we have also now uh, a new tile, view identities, which we have just created. So one last piece is missing. Looking at our uh, tile component, what we want to achieve is uh, when we click on the view button that we navigate to the identities table, table and we will implement that right now. Um, so the idea is looking at our uh, HTML template. Oops, this is the wrong one. Let me go to the correct one. It's this guy here. Um, so looking at our component inside the icon tile components, we have a button. And the idea is that we create a on-click event handler, uh, which then uh, will call the route to the identities table. Yeah. So to do so, the first thing we have to do is to import the Angular router. Let me just do that. Um, and then we will add um, on click event handler, and then we will wire that up in the HTML file. Sorry, it should be lowercase. Uh, wh what this method does is it it's uh, when it's called it it navigates or the router navigates to this route and this route basically shows the uh, the identities component. So let me save this. Let me go to the uh, identity tile. Um, HTML file and then here we will add the unclick handler. I will save this too. And now let's double check if uh, the event handler is doing the, the correct thing. So let's go to the web browser. Here we can see our new identity, uh, view identity tile. And then let me click on the button and now we are on the identities data table. Okay, so thanks a lot for listening. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.